Okay, so I'm going to wait for to see if anybody's going to log on just a little bit. Um, tonight I just wanted to check to see how the sound works up here since I haven't done any lives in this room. Um, I also wanted to know about the lighting. Um, so we will see how everything goes. I also want to try different ways with my with my phone. I want to make sure to give everybody the best. That placement looks pretty good. I'm not going to do any crafts tonight, but I just want to This will be one of my next one of the ones that I do work on though. Probably won't do any lives on these. Since I've already done that one dream catcher. <clears throat> but I'm making wreaths for the grandbabies. Uh, now tomorrow night, I plan on doing the live for the gnome. It's going to be a Halloween one. If I can get it there. And that one uses one of these forms. Yeah, I do like the placement of... If you log on, make sure you let me know if you like the placement or anything. And the lighting. That's another... I need input. I suppose during this one, I could take all this stuff off because I don't need it. So I can take this off. Maybe I'll do that. <clears throat> Hi, Donna. I'm not making anything tonight. All that I'm doing is kind of checking to see how this room works with the lighting and how this table works in here. But I thought, well, since I'm on, I'm going to go ahead and take this stuff off of this form. I look a mess because I just come from work. It was really hot outside after I come out and really long day. I think the other one was a little bit easier to to take apart. Oh here we go. So I pulled that off. I'll probably save it for later for a different project. Same with the little thing here. Donna, how does the lighting look? Does it look okay in this room? I haven't done any of my lives up here. So this, it has these little points on there, and I'm just taking them off of each of those points. And then when I make that gnome tomorrow, I'll just wrap the yarn back and forth on this. And it'll stay in place from these little, these little spots. Hi, Leslie. I'm trying to check out my lighting in this room and the sound. So if everything looks good and sounds good, let me know. I'm not doing any craft. I just figured, well, since I'm since I'm on here anyway wanting to check the lighting and stuff, I might as well tear this apart 
and get it ready for tomorrow. Hi, Laura. <clears throat> Leslie, how are you feeling? I bet you're really excited for the next couple weeks to get here. So far, I'm liking the placement of the camera. Do you guys think it's okay? I love these forms. I ended up buying six of them the other day because I figured I could make gnomes or even a witch the gnome i think will be more of what i use them for there you go hi darian Now I could keep this and make it into like a spider for later. Maybe I'll do that. And I've got like a little wicker. And so far I've just been kind of stuffing stuff that I'll be using later in that wicker basket. <clears throat> oh, and I have to share a funny story. Earlier, I was up here just getting getting ready for check this live, you know, to check the lighting and the the sound. And I was talking to a friend on the phone, and I became very talented, and I choked on a lump of air, maybe even a little bit of my own spit, and went down the wrong pipe, and I I was choking. <laughs> It was hilarious. He had to give me a minute, so he, he ended up doing the talking while I was choking. <laughs> ended up taking a drink, and I was fine after that. But I had made the comment, thank God I wasn't on here doing doing the live, you know, and start choking on my, my own spit. <laughs> that would have been a lovely video, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh. <clears throat> So tomorrow I'm going to make this into a gnome like I did, like I shared photos before. Uh, and I think I'm, I'm going to plan on doing it about 6.30. I get off work tomorrow at 6, but I think 6.30 I'll still have time to, to get home and, and get everything ready. It doesn't really take a whole lot. I'll probably snip snip the flowers. This will probably end up going on his his little hat. And I'll wrap this big chunky yarn on there. Cuz I didn't want it, you know, sparkly for the gnome. I wanted the nice soft chunky yarn. I'm liking that I have this shelf, too. <clears throat> I'll show you guys what all... Uh, what all stuff you need. 
So this is the leftover, the leftover mop head. I had two of them, two mop heads to do the other, that other gnome. And it didn't take, it didn't take that, that much. So I think this two mop heads will do two gnomes. Thank you, Donna. I'm glad I'm good, too. <laughs> and I'm just really glad that I didn't do it when I was on here. <laughs> and then also for that gnome, I don't have to cut the tag off, but I'm a little OCD. This is just a little squishy water ball that I end up getting from Dollar Tree. It comes in a package of four, and I thought that's the perfect size for the nose. So I end up buying that, and then they have these little washcloths. It comes in a package of four, and if you just wrap that around, that makes the perfect nose for that gnome. And then I just tie a rubber band around this and trim off the extra. And then once I have this wrapped with the yarn, and then I glue this on for the beard, that's when I put the gnome or the nose on top. And I noticed on here they have some little spiders. I'm going to take those off as well and place that. I might even put some in the beard just to see how that looks tomorrow. I have the ones from the purple and then I also have the one some from the black. Maybe I'll put them on the hat as well as on the uh on the beard. I really, really don't have to cut these. I can just pull them off of there and then glue them. Oh, and they have this too. I didn't notice that before. Those are really cute. I'll have to incorporate that with the, the flowers tomorrow. I'm really glad that this table and this room is working out so well. I like that my table gives me enough space. I wasn't sure if it would. I think it kind of works better than my coffee table. And I'm not in Brent's way while he's watching TV down there. Hi, Bailey. I'm just doing a test just to see how the lights and the, the sound are doing. So I figured while I'm checking everything out, making sure it's not too bright or too dark in here. Now I do have a little bit of music going in the background. Can you guys hear that or is that low enough? To where it's not bothering the video. That's going to turn out so cute.
So this is all ready for tomorrow. And then I'll wrap, wrap it with this. You can't hear any music, Bailey? That's good. I was hoping that it wasn't in the way. You can hear me though, right? I have soft piano playing in the background for me. Kind of helps relax me. But I wasn't I wasn't sure if it was going to come through on the speaker of my phone. So I'm kind of glad if that doesn't if you guys can't hear it. All I'm doing right now is I'm getting some of these ready. I'm going to braid them to make the little mustache part. So I figure while I'm checking checking the lighting and everything and the sound, I can do a few odds and ends just to get stuff ready for tomorrow. And normally I use rubber bands to tie this, but I noticed I left those rubber bands downstairs. So, I'm just using a little bit of wire that I have on hand up here. Always use what you got. Doesn't have to take a lot. Hi Cass! How are you guys doing tonight? There's a lot more people uh, on here than what I thought there would be. So while I'm just testing out all of this, I'm just going to start braiding. Oops. Cass, I'm not really making anything tonight. I'm just doing some prep work for tomorrow. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be doing a gnome. Uh, kind of like a little wall hanging. And this is his hat. It had kind of like sparkly, sparkly black, this sort of stuff over top of it. So I took that stuff off because I'm going to cover it with yarn. And then I took the flowers off the stems to kind of save time tomorrow as well. Are you guys going to be able to watch my live tomorrow? I'm going to try doing it about 6.30. Brent's doing good. He's doing really good. He's working a lot too. He just found out that he has to work on Saturday. Which is a bummer because we, we were going to do something. We might have to wait and do it after he gets off work. I ended up buying extra lights because when I first came in here with just the lighting that I had, it was really, really dark in here. 
So I ended up buying a couple lamps, just like a little floor lamp here and a floor lamp here. And I think that's helped quite a bit. I think. Yep, that's good. So, I'm going to take another piece of my wire. I also ended up getting a little lamp for my table and it has two plug-ins on the side so I can plug my glue gun into it. I thought that was pretty nifty. That's really going to come in handy for me. Can you guys tell that I've kind of gotten, first, it, at first I was really nervous about doing the lives, and then um, once I did my first one, I kind of got addicted, and now I've been doing them all the time. Sunday night at 4.30 at Walmart. I believe I am there. I want to say I work until 7, so I'll have to double check my schedule just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure I'll be there at that time. Are you guys going to be in, in Walmart at that time? I'm always there. I'm always working. Bailey, you're going to be on tomorrow, like, doing a live? What time are you going to be? Oh, awesome. Getting a TV for your room? I'm really excited about the live I do tomorrow because I love putting these. I loved how the other one turned out, the other gnome wall hanging. So I can't wait to see how this one turns out. Oh, you're getting a TV for the downstairs. Gotcha. I really like that Facebook has this. That way we can stay in touch with family that we don't get to see all the time. It really helps, especially now a lot of people can't can't visit their families because of the virus and everything. So the social media really helps keep people in touch. I've been good. I've been working. Some days are better than others, but I can't really complain. I am really blessed, and I know a lot of people have it worse off than me. 
So just got to look at the positives. Everything's good. And since I have Facebook, you know, I'm addicted to this now. So now I'm doing a lot more lives. As long as people will watch me. <laughs> okay, so there's there's the braids for his beard. I'm not gonna trim this part off yet until I get the the beard work glued down so I know about how long to put it. Bailey, we love you too. <laughs> she really sucks. So I'll have those. Plus I've got the, well, you know, since I don't have my rubber bands up here, I could do the nose too. Yeah, Monday I'll be at work. I don't know what craft I'm going to do after the gnome. I have a list started in a notebook, so I'll have to check that out and see what's, what all's on the list. I know at some point I want to crochet in a live. Yeah, Cass, I hope I see you Monday. Monday's a doctor day. He retires on Tuesday. Uh, so Monday will probably be a really busy day in the Vision Center. But I always love seeing you guys. Okay, so I got the nose done too, and I'm just going to trim off this extra. Yep, right now they're looking for a new doctor. They haven't found anybody yet, but... But it's all good because he deserves to be able to retire. He's He's been there quite a bit. And we're really happy for him. Here I said I wasn't going to do any crafts tonight, but this is kind of like a craft, isn't it? I'm getting everything ready for, t for tomorrow. glad you're liking it. I can't wait to see this one fully done with Halloween just around the corner. I really want to be able to do something that has some kind of holiday theme. So since Halloween is next, I figure this works. I was hoping when I ended up getting these, I was hoping all of this center stuff was gone. I was hoping it was more of just a triangle, 
so I could do a dream catcher in the center so it kind of looked like spider webs. But they don't. They look like this. Now one of the forms, this is what they look like. And I just had an idea come to me just now. What if on one of my lives I cut this center part out and I cut all these little nubs off and I do a dream catcher in the center? That would be cool, wouldn't it? And same with here. Cut all this center part out. Do you think that would work? I did work today. It was a very long day. We were very, very busy. And Bailey, I can't wait to see you guys too. Since I had that idea and I'm pretty much ready for tomorrow, I think, since I'm already on here, I'm going to go ahead and take this off of here and I'm going to cut that center out I just think it's crazy how I'll get to do I'll be doing one craft and then my brain is constantly working and I just automatically think of something else that I could do. So I bet you I could just snip this with some scissors. So I'll take this one apart and try that real quick. I'm not going to do the dream catcher part for this tonight, but I'm going to see if it'll let me cut all of these off and cut the center out, and I'll see what I've got to work with. Bailey, I think it's going to work out good, too. It doesn't, it doesn't seem like it's too hard of plastic. We'll see. That just proves it there, too. That was a happy accident. So it's, it's not very hard. So I'm pretty sure I can, I can cut that now that that one just broke right off. Maybe I should have gotten more than six of these. I might have to make another Dollar Tree run. so glad that you guys logged on tonight. Okay, so I have that off of there. Just going to set it there. I'm going to take this off too. I'm going to see. Maybe my bigger scissors. Oh yeah, bigger scissors work better.
That's working pretty good. For the Dreamcatcher one, I've noticed that it's leaving like a little, a little slight bump. I think after I get rid of these nubs, I'm also just going to wrap it with something before, before I do the dream catcher part in the center. that guys. I can do a dream catcher in the center just because I cut this part out. Now it's funny I'm as I'm looking on the screen and I see this I'm like a crafting hoarder because I'm seeing this and I'm thinking well if I have a flower pot I can put this in here and vine the, the flowers up toward the top. <laughs> But I think I'm still just going to get rid of this. But it, it does kind of look like a lattice that you would put in a plant. Maybe I'll keep the next one. But this one I'm getting rid of. Hi, Danny. I'm just checking out the lighting and the, the sound. And then I thought, well, I'll get, get used to or get everything ready for tomorrow. So I got pretty much everything ready for that gnome. And then I started thinking I could empty out the center and make a dream catcher in the hat and then make it look like a spider web. Some of the best ideas, I tell you, they come when you're thinking of another, when you're in the process of another craft. So that piece broke off really good. So then I can do little dream catcher part in here and in here. Now I'm finding I'm not even needing the scissors for these little Good night, Cassie. Love you. Some of these are easier to do than others. Danny, what do you think of the idea? Some of these are way better than others. So this will be a dream catcher. Oh, Bailey, I know. We can't wait for another get together too.
And Danny, I haven't had a chance to watch your cake live. I had a long day at work, came home and was on the phone for a little bit. And then I thought, well, I better get on here while I can. Hi, Abby. How are you doing? I figured I'd just come on and check the sound and the lighting, which I'm pretty satisfied with. I think it I think it looks pretty good. I like the setup of my table. I like that I have space over here to where I have the little bucket, you know, that I I can put stuff in. My lamp is over here and I can plug in my my uh glue gun. So my, my table is working out really well, and I'm liking the setup, because I think you can see pretty good on the table as well, other than this, because it's black. I had this on here earlier just to show that if I was working on something like this, you could still, you could still see it. And I end up putting this here, that way I can put some of my projects that I'm working on or my finished projects, stuff that I want to work on is up here, like some of my forms. I've got some yarn down here and then a bin in the bottom. It has tons of stuff like the mop heads and, and everything kind of gets it off of the table. Danny, that's what I was thinking, like a spider web dream catcher in the hat. I wasn't sure how it would work. Because I was very disappointed when I took the hat apart and it had all this stuff in the center. Because I thought it was going to be open. And so I thought, oh, all I'm going to be able to do with it is wrap it. But I thought tonight, let me just try cutting it. And it seems to be working out really good. Now some of them, some of these things are really hard. So I might have to use the scissors on those. But I think it's going to work. And when I do the dream catcher, um, witch hat, I will probably do it live. Just because... I'm like addicted now. This this Halloween gnome, I think it's going to turn out amazing. Because I'm going to wrap it in this big chunky black yarn and it's soft. It's what I used for the other one that I showed pictures. Um, but I didn't show how to put it together. But this is really soft. And I didn't like the scratchy garland type stuff that was on there. So I'm going to wrap this hat with this. And then I showed them earlier, but I'll show them again. For the flowers. How awesome is that? It's Halloween, but being an optician, <laughs> I love these flowers. <laughs> they have my eyeballs on there. And then I'm also thinking of putting these little spiders either up on the, maybe a couple on the hat and a couple in the beard I think this one's gonna look so cute and then it also the flowers came with these little tree branch type things so I'll incorporate those in with the leaves and everything and of course he's got to have a braided I don't know. I just think he looks better with the braids for his beard or his mustache. So I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. I'm excited to see how it looks after it's all done. I hope everyone's able to tune in. If not, it will be on there for people to look at later. And then at another time, I will do this dream catcher one to where it looks like a spider web. And then I'll put some spiders on it. Maybe have one dangling. 
And really, it could just be left as a witch's hat. It wouldn't really need a face. I mean, it would still work as a decoration. But I don't know. When it's all done, <laughs> more than likely I'll end up wanting a beard <laughs> on it. But we'll play that by ear. I'm not having much luck with some of these. They're a little hard to, uh, like, if they're really close together or in a really tough spot, they're hard to come off. So I might have to work at them a bit or maybe even use my little snippers. That might work a little bit better in certain areas. Try my snippers. Oh, heck yeah, that works better than the scissors. Where was this just a little bit ago, right? I figure this outer this outer part of the form I'm gonna wrap it with yarn just because it still has some little I don't know if you can see it I'll see can you see like the little the little pokey spots plus I think it'll it'll look a little bit more finished if I wrap it rather than just be left with a little plastic form I think I definitely want to get more of these. Oops. Here I am watching my craft and not watching my phone where my craft is going. I almost knocked my phone over. So other than logging in here, what all are you guys doing? I'm glad you're able to see to see my live tonight and give me your input. It really helps. looking really good and with this I've found the places that it's left up a little bit higher I can get it just a little bit closer with these snips Oh, Bailey, did you like your gnome? I know you got it. Did did you like the colors and stuff and how it looked? Just 
turn out real good. Now this will make another project that I'm really looking forward to seeing. <laughs> Abby, that happens to mine quite a bit. I had to get a charger for upstairs, a charger for downstairs, and then I also have a charger for work. Because my phone, I use it quite a bit. have one in a really tough spot. I'm hoping these will help me get closer to it. Oh, and it will. Sweet. This is working out really good. Oh, I'm glad you like it. I was hoping you would. Okay, so... I have all of the little points, but do you see all the little the little spots from where those nubs were? That's why I'm going to wrap this with some yarn. Oh, I'm going to be so excited to do this one. Maybe I'll do this one. Next week, sometime after I'm done with that other nub. Oh my goodness. I think it's going to look amazing. So to wrap this one, do you think I should use chunky yarn around the outside? Or should I use thin yarn and just wrap it that way? I will post on my page when I do this. It should be next week, though, because I'm really excited. And I want to see how, it's, how it looks when it's done. But I'm excited for this one tomorrow as well. Thin yarn. Yeah, it might work a little bit better with the Dreamcatcher part too. Maybe I'll save save a, a couple of these or something to put on that one as well when I do the when I do it and then maybe a spider and maybe even with the gnome tomorrow I might have a spider dangling from his hat too I don't know it's all trial and error, but there's really no wrong way of doing it. <laughs> Alright, well I think I'm going to get off of here.
I just wanted to check my lighting and it looks like it it does look like it's doing pretty good in here I don't think I need more um, and I don't think I need to adjust it I don't I'm not dark in here um, maybe tomorrow I'll also lay something down on here since this form is black and the the yarn is black that way you can kind of get the effect a little bit better but since my table is black it might you might not be able to see it that well although when I'm doing it I might have it up this way you might be able to see it that way too but I might cover my table a little bit Good night, Bailey. I love you, too. Yes, send me a picture of where you put your gnome. I'd love to see it. And thank you guys for watching tonight, even though I didn't really do crafts. But it kind of looked like it since I was preparing for tomorrow. Now, I th tomorrow's live might not take as long. <laughs> I'm always worried that it's, it's going to take the two hours and cut me off. But I like the short, the short, um, projects. I don't like it taking too long. So, I will see you guys tomorrow. And thank you again. I'm really glad you guys got to tune in and see me kind of muddle through and get inspired while I'm doing another craft. <laughs> and preparing for one. So, I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. And hope your day and your weekend is great. See you then.